The unforgiving heat of Kenya's southern town of Voi decimated drivers during the second round of the Africa Rally Championships Equator Rally that concluded on Sunday. But Kenyan champion Karan Patel steered out of trouble to complete a wire-to-wire -wire victory. Having held on to his Equator Rally title, Patel has set sights on bagging more ARC points at June's WRC Safari Rally that will be hosted by Kenya. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's been a hard day, but uh, yeah, we secured the title yet again, so uh, still I want to secure more Equator Rallies and keep on winning the same event over and over again. The Ugandan duo of Yasa Nassim and Jasmine Gat finished in second and third place respectively in a rally that laid the platform for a season-long battle to be crowned African champion. Uh, it has been great uh, driving today. Um, um, we started very far. We had some few challenges in the morning with the power steering pump and we delayed to come out of service as well. Uh, but luckily, um, God is with us and uh, we've managed to finish uh, second. As the dust settles in Voi, the race for the 2023 ARC title will intensify in May's Pearl of Africa Rally in Uganda and Kenya's WRC Safari Rally in June. Tanzania, Burundi, Rwanda and Zambia are scheduled to host the remaining rounds of the Continental Championship. For Kenya, the Equator Rally provided a dry run for the WRC Safari Rally that will be held from the 22nd to 25th of June. This will prepare us properly now for the bigger rally, which is the WRC that's going to happen in Naivasha sometime in June. Uh, we have a brand new local organizing committee in which we are able to put in some good uh, professionals and uh, mixed uh, uh, from the technical side, uh, rally people and also a lot of business leaders who we have put in to the LOC as well as some of our sponsors. So we are confident that we have a very good team in place to be able to plan the World Rally Championships in June. The back-breaking Equator Rally in Voi served a timely reminder to top drivers of why Kenya is reputed as the toughest country to rally in the world. Only nine out of the 18 drivers brought their cars home.